Many of us have moved over to the DJI digital FPV system, which has onboard recording. So why are we still using a GoPro? That's actually a question that some of you have been asking. So let's take a look at some comparison videos and see why that is. For the comparison, we're gonna be using our goggle DVR because really the onboard recording of the air unit has been fairly broken since uh, version four of the software. We're also gonna use the um, GoPro session so that we can give the DJI system a fighting chance here. A newer GoPro like the 7 for example or the 8 or 9 will be quite a bit better on its video quality. Also the size and the weight of the session really seems more tailored to drones and FPV flight anyway. Here you're looking at the DJI goggle recording. It's running in high quality mode and 50 megabits. Now you're looking at the GoPro footage running at 2.7K and 30 frames per second on Super View. Here's a great side-by-side -side comparison. As soon as we flip over from the GoPro to the DJI, we lose a lot of our field of view, and we also lose a lot of the details going from the 2.7K resolution of the GoPro down to the 720p resolution of the DJI. When you start to fly a little bit faster, that's when the difference in the frame rate actually really stands out. The GoPro is running at 30 frames per second, whereas the DJI in high quality mode runs at 60 frames per second. So you can definitely see that the DJI is a lot smoother, captures the motion better, whereas the GoPro just feels a little bit more kind of cinematic and a little bit more choppy. And this is why I don't fly the Hero 5 session as frequently because of the lower frame rate. I've been flying the Hero 7 Black, which allows me to record 2.7K at 60 frames per second, giving the same kind of smoothness as the DJI camera. Another great example showing you the difference in the perspective and field of view between the two cameras. When folks started asking for this kind of comparison, I thought it's pretty obvious why folks would end up having a GoPro on their drones. But while making this, I noticed that it's not as clear cut and um, obvious as I thought, especially with the new uh, 50 megabit mode and high quality mode on the DJI. 
The difference is, is definitely there because you are comparing a dedicated camera that's got a 10 megabit sensor to the DJI's uh, 4 megabit. But even looking at a DJI camera from 2020 versus a GoPro from 2017, the difference is very noticeable, but not as noticeable as I thought it would be. Really, it comes down to this. If you want to just record some tricks for your mom, wife, girlfriend, the DJI camera is fine. For anything else, you need a GoPro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.